Welcome to the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. I'm your host, Brittany Alicia. Greatness is a decision and your birthright. You deserve to love the woman looking back at you in the mirror. This show is for the purpose-driven female entrepreneur who is committed to only counting the time she gets back up. The woman who is ready to ignite the flame within, find her voice, and use the power of her story to transform the lives of those around her. This is your weekly fuel to inspire you to action, where I'll be sharing inspirational stories, real talks with thought leaders and successful entrepreneurs from around the world, and provide you with actionable success strategies for creating a business you love. I'm a content marketing coach, and I'm committed to helping you as an online creator and entrepreneur wherever you are to turn your dreams into a reality, to help you transform your messaging so you can create a genuine connection with your audience and grow your income online. You are far more powerful and stronger than you will ever imagine. We are the warriors. You were born for this. Let's make life your bitch. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. I am your host, Brittany Alicia, and today's daily dose, I want to just share something based on a conversation I was just having with someone, and we were talking about, we were actually talking about Kim Kardashian, and how there's a lot of stigma around how people think that she was an overnight success, that she had family, money, and that's one of the big things that you see people look Look at someone else who is successful and people assume that they're overnight success stories and they don't actually look at what is happening behind the scenes, right? The action that person is taking. And I didn't see it personally, but um, this friend of mine, she was talking about how there was something that went viral from Kim Kardashian where she talked about, you know, just something, something along the lines of like, just go get to fucking work, like go do some work. And, you know, when it comes to manifestation, there is action involved. And I think what is a big problem with a lot of people in the entrepreneur coaching industry, when it comes to manifestation, when they're talking about it, is that, you know, they're talking about how it gets to be easy, but these are people coming from a standpoint of it's easy today. Because it wasn't easy (laughs) in the beginning. And I think when people get further along in their business and they become more successful, sometimes they forget how they got to where they are. Or, you know, for me as a projector, I very much can look at someone's business and see, you know, maybe where they're struggling, see what they can do differently. Um, Even with this woman that I was talking to, we were talking about manifestation and receiving. And I gave her multiple examples throughout, like, you know, the last couple months just between her and I, where I could personally see where she was blocking herself from receiving and manifesting the things that she desires. And so that's one of the big things that I find a lot of people do is they're going out and they're looking at all these other people successful online, but they don't actually see the stuff, A, that's happening behind the scenes. And also they think that these people you know, it's just happened overnight. And so when it comes to receiving, it's so important that we first off get massive clarity on what it is that we desire. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? You know, what is your mission? And I want to encourage you when you listen to any of the meditations that I post that, you know, it's, it's about you not being in your head when you do a me- man- like a meditation. What you want to be able to do is actually feel yourself when you're in a meditation drop from your head into your heart. Like feel that energy go from your head into your heart and lead from there when you're trying these man there I keep saying manifestations. When you're trying these meditations. And so if you go back and you listen to any of them, I want to encourage you to go from that head into your heart because when we start leading from our heart, that's where we start getting that clarity for like being heart led entrepreneurs. You see people talking about soulpreneurs, um, being soul led, but you know, nobody's really talking about like, well, what the fuck does that mean? It's just like a trendy woke term. And there's some people who it's like, they know what it means and the people that they attract know what it means. But there's also people who have no idea what it means and they feel like this disconnect and they don't, 
like they, they're like, I'm a soulpreneur, but they really don't know what it means. And so it's leading with that soul purpose. So if we bring that back to manifestation, to receiving, to the steps in your business. So one of the big things with these women who are successful online, being a projector, this is what I see. I see massive clarity. And it's actually my five C's that I talk about. Um, so there's massive clarity. Um, they are consistent. There is massive consistency in, you know, they have routines every single day, whether it's like, you know, they, they have the same routine every day or they have a different routine, but it gets them to the same place of, you know, positivity, um, to the same place of receiving, to the same place of being in that higher vibration, um, right? Like in the um, dimensions intensive, we talk about the 5D and like all these topics that I'm talking to you about right now are all things you're going to learn in the dimensions um, intensive. But, you know, it's that, like I said, there's the clarity, there's the consistency. If you're an online entrepreneur, it's the content that you're putting out. There's so many people out there who say, are trying to tell people that you don't need content. Well, guess what? How did that person tell you about you not needing content? They created a fucking piece of content, (laughs) right? And so you might not need sales calls. You might not need to go live on Instagram, on Facebook. You might not need to be doing TikToks. Those things might not align to you, but it's finding that one thing that aligns for you that when you create the content, it feels amazing in your body. For me, it's my podcast. This is like my jam. This is what I love to do. If you go over to my Facebook, um, when it comes to the writing piece, I love to write on Facebook. I don't particularly love going live. Um, you know, it's when I do go um, live or I teach um, through visual, I want to be on Zoom and I want to see the people that I'm talking to. Um, I don't particularly love, you know, the live aspects of things because um, I don't get to see people. So there's those pieces, right? So it's finding what really aligns for you. So what do we say? Clarity, consistency, content. You can do content, consistency, whichever, like, you know, order you want to do it in. Um, Then there's connection, right? So there's building connection. How are you connecting with people? Because that's the other thing is people say, well, I don't want to comment or respond back to like every single comment that someone leaves me. Okay, well, when you're on a live and you see the person, do you, you know, say hello back to them? Like, how are you connecting with people? Maybe it's just the fact that when you write your content, when you speak your content, maybe someone doesn't even need to talk to you, but they're just like, wow, she spoke to my soul. And there was that connection there. Maybe it's not even that you're speaking to them directly one-to-one, but the way that you're showing up in your content is creating that soul connection, right? And then the last piece is cash. That's how you make money in your business is like those key things. But if we bring that back now to manifestation is what did all that talk about? Action. You have to take action. And you know, whether it's making sure that you're showing up for yourself energetically every single day, that's an action, right? Uh, Maybe it's like, you know, with Tony Robbins people, maybe you're priming, maybe it's someone who likes to meditate. What is the reason that you're doing all these things when it comes to creating a gratitude list? What are you, why are you doing that? It's because you're trying to put yourself energetically into a state of appreciation. What is the whole point of it? To raise your vibration, to put yourself into the 5D. So then if we go and we talk about, these women who are massively successful, they're making millions of dollars in their businesses. And you're like, well, why is it working for them and not me? It's because right now they're using, they're utilizing quantum leaps and the compound effect. Okay. And so what the quantum leaps and the compound effect means is that when you are already in a high vibration in the fifth dimension, that is when, when you're like up in that, it's you're going to bring in things to you faster. Like, have you ever had a really good day where it just seems like everything's in flow and it's just like one thing after another you're receiving and you're just like, where's all of this coming from? And you're in like such a state of abundance 
and you're, you have no idea how you did it. And then one thing happens. Maybe just that one thing is you went to bed and you woke up and it's a new day and it's like the next day goes to total shit. It's because we set goals for ourselves and when we hit them, you know, how long does that actually last? If you think about the last time that you hit a massive goal in your life, how long did that joy last for? How long did the happiness last for? The excitement before it wore off, right? Did you get a new vehicle? Did you get a new job? Did someone tell you they loved you that you've been like hoping to get into a relationship? Maybe a smile on someone's face. Like how long did it last before it was as if it never happened, right? And it was on to the next thing. Now we desire more. And there's nothing wrong with desiring more, but it's being clear on what you desire as your next step, right? So if we have clarity on this is the big goal for myself, this is the next step I need to take, this is the next step. And if we know the next few steps ahead of ourselves, when we manifest that first thing, we know what that next thing is, right? Oh, well now wouldn't it be amazing to have this or to do this or to experience this? And so that's how like quantum leaping happens is you're already in the high vibration. That is why there's people who are online who are massively successful and they're able to manifest, you know, all these different things like, and it just seems like they're on a roll. It's because it's easier to manifest when you've already had a win, right? And so inside the dimensions intensive, we're going to go into how to initially get yourself into that state for things to start happening for you and then how to keep yourself in that state. And if you slip out, how to get yourself back into that state. So that was one of the things that I was thinking about today was the whole difficulty that people have receiving, especially when it comes to business and how that all plays out, right? It's it's all the pieces. Like we have to remember that it's getting the clarity, you know, deciding what it is you want, why do you want it, and then taking that action step is so important. Um, so anyway, that is it. That is all I have for this one. Go out there and make life your bitch. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard today, please share it with your bestie. And if you haven't already, subscribe, rate, and review the show on your favorite podcast player. If you have any questions, feedback, or compliments that you want to throw like confetti, you can reach me directly at podcast at makelifeyourbitch.co. Thanks for listening.